Hello, and welcome to this edition of Eat Right with Rouses. We are so very glad you are joining us. I'm your host, Keith Weissite, and we are glad to be joined by April Sins, registered dietitian with Rouses. Hey, April, how are you? Hey, Keith. I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing very well, but I got to tell you, I'm looking forward to something warm during these cooler days, and I think you got a great recommendation for us today. Yes, definitely. This is the perfect casserole to make on the cooler days, but also even if it's warm, because you know how our weather is, goes up and down, right? That's true. That's true. (laughs) Yes. So we definitely, this is a great way to, first of all, use some vegetables that we might have in the the refrigerator that we don't want to throw away. Mm -hmm. It's also a great way to incorporate some, maybe if some frozen vegetables that you have that you've been saving and you're just trying to figure out what to do with it. And so basically, we're going to make a casserole using those vegetables. Now, literally, when you when you think about this recipe, think about anything that's in your fridge, or even if you want to take one of those soup, um, the soup bundles that we have at Rouse's, you can incorporate this into one of those as well. Wow. So keeping it really simple, I'm going to show you the things that I pulled out of my refrigerator to be able to use for this recipe and okay. my freezer, in fact. Okay. So... I have some kale right kale, here. Right. Now, this could easily be spinach. Uh, it could be cabbage. It can be any green lettuce that you want to use. Totally fine. Um, I had a bell pepper that I needed to use. I'm incorporating that, that orange bell pepper in there. Uh, you, I like to keep frozen peas on hand mm-hmm. just to throw in soups and any casseroles, maybe even fried rice or something like that. And so that is some frozen peas. And then I also had some carrots that I need to use as well. So um, you can also incorporate some onions, some garlic. I mean, just think about those things that are in your fridge that you don't want to throw away. You want to use them, but you're trying to figure out what to do with them. Right. So what I did was I actually put all of those items into a casserole dish. Right here, I have a nine by nine casserole dish. If you have a lot more vegetables and you want to use a nine by 13, you could definitely transfer that into this as well. And um, put some Rouse's olive oil on top, coat it all, and then uh, put this uh, a little bit of seasoning. Now, I use the salt-free seasoning. I use the Mrs. Dash garlic and herb, but use whatever your favorite seasoning is right here. Coat that really well. Put that in the oven at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Now, if you have some really thick, hearty vegetables that need to cook for a longer period of time, if you threw a sweet potato in there or something like that, you might need to let them uh, bake a little bit longer. Okay. Um, but then whenever your vegetables are ready, you pull it out, out of there. And this is, at this point, you can choose, do you want to put a grain in it and just make a one pan dish that you can include different food groups in? Right. So in mine, I put some farro, um, so, which is a little bit of a difference in ancient grain. Um, but this dish actually works well with rice as well. So if you want to grab your Rouse's rice, you can use that. Um, and you put your rice or and your uh, liquid. So I use a chicken broth, an unsalted chicken broth in here. Mm-hmm. So I'll usually do one cup of grain to two cups of your liquid, okay? okay? And so that chicken broth actually adds a great flavor to this, and I like to use the unsalted one so that I'm not using as much salt. Right. And then you cover it and bake it for about 20 minutes. Okay. Once that is done, you take that out, and then you're going to add your cheese, So I have this one right here just with the vegetables. I'm just going to make a vegetable one right here. Um, But then you're going to add some of your Parmesan cheese. So I like to use the Rouse's grated Parmesan cheese um, and mix that in. And then you're going to top it with some of your Rouse's mozzarella cheese as well. Mm. And then you're going to put this in the oven for another 20 minutes and just let that cheese melt. And then you have this most delicious casserole right here and this one I actually just baked and mm. it's still warm but it's so good it's such like a cozy meal and you're extending the life the shelf life of your vegetables because now you have a whole new dish with those vegetables you don't have to throw them away and then you can you know feed the family without uh, having as much waste so isn't that really neat to find something that you can use those vegetables get some great nutrition and um, and have a nice, cozy, warm meal at the same time, Keith. 
Well, and it's so easy, too. I mean, even people that, that aren't very good in the kitchen can just pull a bunch of that stuff out. But look at the great oh, yeah. colors in that. Yeah, uh, that's what I love about it. It's just, so colorful. Right. And it's really nutritious. Yeah, so, you know, between the orange and the carrots, the orange and uh, the bell pepper that you use, you know, you get, it's got mm -hmm. a fall look to it as well. Oh, yeah. In addition to those fall flavors and tastes. And I like the idea that it's just kind of anything. You can kind of coat yeah. any of those vegetables that you have in the fridge. You certainly can. Yeah, yeah, I love that idea too because, it's you know, sometimes you just have a little, a little bit of bell pepper left or like mm -hmm. a little bit of... Uh, some green onion you can put you know throw in your herbs in here as well you know and so that way it gives you something else that you can incorporate it into to where you don't have to throw it away it doesn't have to go to waste and um or you can go to rouse's and get you know what what else i like to use too is i'll get a bag of frozen mixed vegetables as well and that works great for this casserole too so you can you know if you don't have anything that you need to use in the refrigerator you can easily grab frozen mixed vegetables and make this casserole as well. So it just makes it really simple and versatile and an easy dish. And what I like about it, Keith, is it's one pan. <laughs> one stop shop, right? Everything, all Less of the nutrition that do. you need, all the nutrition <laughs> that you need in there. And, one, and it's one pan to, yes. to clean up after as well, right? Cause you brown it all, you brown it all in one. Uh, April, wonderful recommendations. Thank you so much for that. And so we're looking forward to a very cozy, um, a very cozy time, but a cozy casserole to go with it. So appreciate your time today. Thanks so much, Keith. All right, and that will do it for this particular segment of Eat Right with Rouse's. Don't go anywhere. A lot more local programming here on HTV.